Oh, come on and clap your hands for God this morning. If you God is not worthy of all the glory, honor, and the praise, glory to God. Because he didn't have to wake us up, but he did. He didn't have to breathe the breath of life, but he did. Someone didn't wake up this morning, but because he allowed us to wake up this morning, you ought to be on your feet giving God the glory.
do this by ourselves. But we also know that with you all things are possible. And Lord, if we had 10,000 tongues, it would not be enough to give you the glory, honor, and praise that you deserve. But we can say hallelujah.
of usher this morning as they come forth. Amen, amen. Good morning, church. Come on, fellas. Y'all got to get up here and help me out. We're going to take you back a little old school.
you touch each of us, each and every one of us. Touch our minds and our hearts. Open us up to your will and to your way. And have us do that which is pleasing in your sight. It's in Jesus' precious name that we do pray. Amen and amen. Oh, come on and clap your hands for God this morning. All right, now we're going to hear from the best seniors. They singing this morning, y'all.
we're going to ask Sister Regina to come up to talk about our Thanksgiving um, giveaway. And then let's give her a hand clap as she comes forth. Thursday night. 
without music. So just come on back to my time, amen? So this is the part that we all can play a part in. It is all for time, guys. What is it, Mount Zion? It's not about giving, it is about what? Value. Give them to your first group. Amen. If we have any electronic payments, please go to the back where Brother Eric is. Amen. We're going to have the ushers to come up front to lead and guide you. Amen. And if you need an envelope, please raise your hand so the ladies can come by and give it. Please put your names on it. Amen. Hey y'all, it's me. How many y'all know God got a blessing? Tonight? Scripture come up. Can we stand, please, and reach our hands towards this pulpit? Say, Pastor Palmer. Preach the word. Pastor Palmer. Preach the word. Pastor Palmer. Preach the word. So after the scripture, the praise team will do a song, and then the next voice you will hear is Pastor Palmer. Scripture by Deacon C. Good morning. 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 Good morning.
find the scripture reading will be from the book of James, from the fourth chapter. That's James chapter 4. And we're going to start at the fourth verse. James 4 and 4. We have to say amen. And the Bible reads, you adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be friends of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says without reason that his jealousy longs for the spirit he calls to dwell in us? But he gives us more grace. That's why the scripture says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to the God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. God's word for all his people. Oh, come on and clap your hand. How many know that God is able? Glory to God. If you know this song, why don't you help us this morning? Or this afternoon? This is one of my other favorites.
You know that God is able. Come on and give him a praise. If God has been good to you, come on and give him a praise. If God woke you up this morning, come on and give him a praise. Amen. If you got stress in your body, come on and give him a praise. Amen. Because the Bible says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Come on, that praise is okay for me. But the Bible says let everything that has breath, Praise the Lord. Somebody shout yes, Lord. Come on, somebody shout yes, Lord. If you believe that God is able, come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Amen. We're grateful. Amen. For God. Amen. We thank God for Pastor Murray. Amen. In his absence. Thank God for First Lady. Amen. We thank God for you, God's people. Amen. I thank God for my very own wife. Amen. Now God just continues to bless us. Amen. But the song says he's able. And so that reminds me that he's able to do whatever you call on him to do. You can put whatever you want after able because he's able to do it. Amen. He's able to heal. Amen. He's able to set free, amen. For somebody didn't feel like coming this morning. Somebody didn't have enough strength, amen. They just didn't feel like getting out of bed this morning. But God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. So come on, put those hands together for Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. Amen. But God has truly been good to me. Amen. And, and every time I wake up in the morning, I say, God, you're yet able. But every time I reach out to my family, I let my family know he did it again. And they, what, do you, what do you mean he did it again? He woke you up this morning. Amen. He gave you breath in your body, amen. And when, when you get up there, when you start reaching 50, amen, things just start happening in your body. You didn't realize it happened when you were 40 years old, amen. So I have all kind of pains in the morning, but I still yet said he did it again, amen. But I'd rather wake up with a pain in my body than not wake up at all. Somebody shout glory this morning. Just, I'm just so grateful because every day it seems like it's another pain, Brother Deacon, but, but, but every time one come on this side, I give them praise on this side, amen. So you gotta learn how to trick the devil, amen, but God's been good to us, amen. So, 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 so we're not gonna be long, but I promise you we're gonna be strong, amen. But when I was seeking God, he just kept saying, let it go. But I wanted to preach what Reggie wanted to preach. But God kept saying, let it go. But I still wanted to preach what Reggie wanted to preach. But God pushed me again to say, let it go. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, whatever you're going through, let it go. Oh, that neighbor ain't thankful on this side. So turn to your other neighbor on the other side and say, neighbor, Whatever you're going through, let it go. And give God a praise in advance, amen. Hallelujah. Let it go, amen. We, 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 we sometimes, amen, we hold on to stuff that talk God intends for us to let go, amen. And it, and it bogs us down, amen. But this morning, amen, I just want to encourage us. See, most people say, I want to encourage you. But I got some stuff I need to let go as well. And so he said, he said, talk about let it go. But I said, well, Lord, before I can tell the people, you got to talk to me. Amen. Amen. Because I have some things that I need to let go as well. Somebody shout, let it go. Let it go. Amen. So our scripture reading this morning is going to be found, amen, in the book of Philippians. Amen. And we're only going to work, but we're going to talk about th uh, two verses and we're going to get out of the way. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Philippians chapter number three. And we're going to, I'm sorry, Philippians chapter 3. And we're going to start at verse number 13. And we're going to conclude at verse number 14. Come on, Pastor. <clears throat> just going, he's able. This 
morning we just listen to a song, I trust in God. So if he's able, then we trust in God. All we got to do is let it go. I think you missed it. If he's able, and we trust in God, all we got to do is let it go. Our scripture reading, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind. Somebody shall let it go. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching unto those things which are before. Somebody shall let it go. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You may have a seat. You may have a seat. Amen. Paul, Brother Paul knew that he might die soon. But he had faith that he would rise again in life. And so just because we die don't mean we're not going to rise again. Paul's goal was to know Christ, to be like Christ, and to be all that Christ had in mind for him. Somebody shout, let it go. So we, 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 we tend to hold on to things, or things tend to bog us down, amen, and we go through life with the weight of the world on our shoulders, amen, and we go day to day trying to make it in a world in which we are bogged down. On Thursday night, amen, we had fun, amen, we was talking about the importance of choosing to forgive. The importance of choosing to forgive. And as we do an inventory, amen, we may look around and amen, we may think about somebody or some person that has wronged us somewhere along the way. And we still holding on to that what somebody has done to us 20 years ago and we have yet to let, let it go. go. Don't you realize how difficult it is to to be mad at someone, amen, that has done something to you 20 years ago and how much energy it takes, amen, you can be in a good mood, amen, but if you see that person, all of a sudden you turn to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, amen, because you have seen this person, amen, and because you've seen them, amen, you became upset all over again because your mind took you back 20 years ago. Somebody shout, let it go. Let it go. There comes the times in life that we must let go issues and things and people and places because of personal pride. And learn how to totally lean on God. Our pride will prevent us from being blessed by God simply because we're holding on to things that he has delivered us from a long time ago. Pride, pride, pride prevents us from moving on, amen. Pride against us, prevents us from totally being blessed by God because he want to bless you, but you decide to hold on. Somebody shout, let it go. Let it go. So many times we struggle with giving up the past. We, we, we struggle giving up personal hurt, past relationship, and past trauma. We, 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 we tend to hold on to it and we say nobody understands me and nobody knows what I've been through. But God knows. God knows everything that we've gone through, been through, is on the way to. But he said, I have delivered you from it, so all you have to do is let it go. And sometimes we are in love with our past, amen. We're loved and past hurt and different things like that and God has delivered us from those things but for some reason, we find ourselves going back to the very thing that he delivered us from. Somebody shout, let it go. We struggle with the fact that mama wasn't there. We struggle with the fact that daddy wasn't there. And we go into adulthood and we still struggling with the fact that mama wasn't there and daddy wasn't there. But I, 
I got bad news for you this morning, Amon. Some mothers is there, but they're not there. Amen. Some daddies is there, but they not there. But all you got to do is look into the hills for what's coming to your help, amen, realizing that your help comes from the Lord, amen, and you have the ability and you have the strength to let it go. Somebody shout, let it go. And all of us can find something that our parents did wrong, but don't you know they did the best they could with what they had? And if some of us as parents, we don't always get it right. Amen. Michael Jackson wrote the best mirror, met the rep, the best song, the best song, the man in the mirror. That's right. Because when you start talking about what mom and daddy didn't do, if you got children, amen, then you got to look in the mirror to see what you're not doing. Right. But it's so easy to point the finger at someone else. Amen. Somebody shout, let it go. First Peter 5 and 7 say, casting all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. So if, 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 if he's asking us, is he suggesting to us, if he's beckoning to us to cast our cares upon him, all we have to do is bring them to the altar, amen, and leave them there. He said, cast all your cares. Not some of them. Not the ones that you want to hold on to. Not the ones that you want to hold on to and still blame people. He said, all of them. You know how we do. We let certain things go and we hold on to certain things, amen, because we want to tell somebody a piece of our mind one last time. Let it go. But he's saying, let it go. He said, casting all thy cares upon him, for he cares for you. My first point is, you must forget the past. He said, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, this one thing I do. So you just need to do just one thing, amen, just forget about the past. Stop going back to people that God has delivered you from. Go, stop going back to things, amen, that God has brought you out of, amen. You pray for God to remove you, amen, and God has removed you, amen. But as soon as time gets hard, amen, you want to go back to the things which is familiar to you. But somebody shout, let it go. Let it go. If people can walk out on you, amen, let them go. Stop trying to pray people back in your life that God has delivered you from, amen. Stop begging people to come back into your life, amen, that don't want to have anything to do with you, amen. If people can walk out on you, let them go. Somebody shout, let it go. I, 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 just have one, I just have one thing. I'd rather be lonely going to heaven than have company going to hell. You got to learn to just let it go. Because if we let certain things go, we'll be so much further along in life, amen. But, but we want to hold on to that stuff, amen, that, that, that weighs us down, amen. We want to hold on to that person that don't mean us no good, amen. We want to hold on to that person, amen. And, 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 and he mistreats you, amen. He misuses you, amen. She mistreats you. She misuses you, amen. She lay hands on you, but not these kind of hands. She lay hands on you, amen. And you say, he's just a good person, amen. The devil is a liar. Yeah. Stop selling from things that God has delivered you from. Somebody shall let it go. Hey Amen. My second point. You must reach for the future. Forgetting those things which are behind you, reaching unto those things which are before you. If you ask God to move you, then when he moves you, amen, you don't want to go. When you say, Lord, deliver me, and he delivers you, you want to stay where you're at. But sometimes we, 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 we are spiritually confused, and therefore we make God confused. Because we're asking for something sometimes we don't really want. And if you ask God to move you, amen, he's going to take you where he wants you to go, not where you want to go. Let me tell you how God worked. I, I moved to Florida because I, 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 my time was up in Missouri. So, so, so one day, this, this thought came to mind that I need to be closer to my grandchildren. So we, 
Ain't gonna call, I'm not gonna tell y'all who we is, but we decided that we was gonna beckon in God to, to move us back to Missouri. The same place that we asked God to deliver us from. That we asked him to take us back to the same place because we missed our grandchildren. God said, okay, you want to go back? She filled out, she sent out resumes. I sent out resumes. She has two master degrees. I have a college degree. But God did not allow anyone to hire us, not even in the same town we came from. So God said, he, he said, so, 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 you want to go back to the Egypt where I delivered you from? You want to be just like the children of Israel, and you want to go back because you don't appreciate my blessings that I bestowed upon you? I want to see how much you want to go back. He only allowed one person to call me, y'all. That person called me from Litchfield, Mississippi. Don't ask me where is that because I have no idea. I said, God, you got a real sense of humor. I, I changed my mind. I won't go back. Amen. I, I, I won't go back to what you delivered me from. And sometimes we ask God to, to deliver us. Amen. And then we want to go back. He want to see how bad you really want to go back. Reach for your, your future. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. So if I'm going through hell, amen, I'm going to praise you, amen. If everybody will walk out on me, amen, I'm going to praise you, amen. Broke, busted, and disgusted, amen, I'm still going to praise you, amen. If I got to live from paycheck to paycheck, amen, if I got to live from payday to the next day, amen, I'm still going to praise you. Anybody have a praise this morning? Hallelujah, amen. No matter what the problem or the situation, amen, you got to give God a praise, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No matter what happened in the past, amen, you got to still give God a praise. Does anybody have a past praise this morning? Does anybody have a past praise this morning, amen? Does anybody have an anyhow praise this morning? We God is what's going on in my life. God, I'm gonna praise you anyhow. Regardless of what they say about me, God, I'm gonna praise you anyhow. Does anybody have any anyhow praise this morning? Stand up on your feet and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is not the time to sit down on God, amen. This is the time to stand up on God, and this is the time to walk on the devil's head, amen, because God's been good to you, amen. You owe him a praise. Somebody shout, let it go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just come to encourage us this morning. Sit down, sit down. You make me nervous. You make me nervous. Hallelujah. I just come to encourage us this morning. No matter what you have been through, give it to God. It may not look good right now. See, the good thing about movies, amen, you don't know what's going to happen in the end. And the things that keep you most suspense, amen, because once you start getting to the middle of the movie and it start getting good, you didn't want to know what the end is going to look like. But sometimes you have the ability to cheat, amen, if you have a remote where you can fast forward, amen. You have the ability to move the movie on further, amen. So I'm telling some of y'all this, this morning, amen, to cheat this morning just a little bit. I'm take, asking you to take the remote control of life, amen, and fast forward, amen, and see what the end looks like for you, amen, because I guarantee you, amen, the end looks better than the beginning. The end looks better than the middle, amen, but all you've got to do, all you have to do this morning, amen, is let it go. Hallelujah. Does anybody have a, anybody, anybody have a remote control where you can fast forward life today? I guarantee you it looks better the way you came from. It looks better the way you're going. And I thank God, because I don't look like what I'm going through, amen. I thank God, amen, because when I was going through hell, amen, I had to learn how to let it go, amen. I thank God, because when I didn't know the way, amen, he reminded me, amen, that he was the way, amen. The truth and the life, amen. All I had to do was let it go. In order to let things go, amen, we got to change our mindset. We got to change 
your mindset. When you continue to think like a chicken, you, it's, it's hard for you to fly with the eagles. Because a chicken can't go where an eagle goes. Hallelujah, amen. A chicken can't go that far. It can't fly that far because it's weighted down. Woo! A chicken even walk with his head down. But an eagle, amen, when things get tough for an eagle, amen, all an eagle has to do is stretch his wings. When it, when it get hard for an eagle, amen, all he got to do is begin to soar, amen. He just begin to soar over whatever's going on in his life, amen. So what are you saying, Thomas? When things get hard for you, all you got to do is soar. All you got to do is reach, amen. All you got to do is press, amen. When things get hard and I want to throw in the towel, what must I do? Somebody shout soar. Come on, somebody shout soar this morning. Let it go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it go. Woo. I was on my way to hell. And I tell people all the time, I was so close to hell, I smelled like smoke. But God. Somebody shout, but God. See, 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 God has a way of man letting you go through the fire, amen, and you don't get burned, amen. But, but, but the God that we serve, he has the ability, amen, to take the fire, take, woo, he will take the burn out of fire, amen, for his people. Hallelujah. But you gotta let it go. Somebody shout, let it go. Talk about me as much as you want, amen, but I gotta let it go, amen. Lie on me, amen. I, I, I got to let it go. And one thing about a lie, man, a person can lie on you, just don't let it be true. Somebody shout, let it go. Come on, give God a hand praise this morning. Come on and give God a hand praise. Third point this morning. You must press towards your purpose. You must press towards your purpose. Sometimes you gotta look the devil square in the face and let the enemy know what God has for me, it is for me. What God has brought you out of, amen. No devil in hell can stop you, amen. Because what God has for you is for you. Somebody shall let it go. Sometimes we got to let the devil know I didn't cry my last cry. I didn't laugh. I didn't cry my last cry. I didn't been down long enough, amen. But one thing I love about being down, amen, it gives me the ability to get up, amen. And even if I can't get up, amen, all I got to do is look up, amen. Because if I look up, amen, I know somebody else is looking down, amen, and so sometimes when you're going through life and you're struggling, amen, and you feel like you can't get up, all you gotta do is look up. Somebody shout, look up. You gotta believe for God I live and for God I die. Somebody shout, let it go. Somebody shout, let it go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time to walk out of your past into your future. It's time to walk out of yesterday into today, amen. All you got to do is let it go. The Bible says, don't look back. And the last part of the scripture said, I press. So, so, so when you press, amen, that means you got to use a little force, amen. When you press, amen, that means you got to push a little harder, amen. When you press, amen, that means sometimes you got to give it all to them. I'm not a lady, and I don't know what a lady. I don't know what a lady is, but I never. But when a man, when a woman is about to give birth, amen, and then and, and they find a focus point, and when those contractions begin to hit, they find that contraction point. They find that focus point, and then all you got to do is push. I haven't had no babies, y'all, but my wife did. But I went to the lawns class, and I was paying attention when they didn't think I was paying attention. But all you gotta do when the life comes to, comes your way and you don't know what to do, find that focus point, amen. And soon as the contraction hit my brothers, soon as the pain hit my sister, woo, all you gotta do is push. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. Soon as you feel like the weight is on your work, on your back, amen, all you gotta do is push. 
This world has beat me up long enough. I have went through hell long enough. I'm tired of people saying that I will be the least, least likely to succeed. And you're here this morning and you don't know the Lord Jesus as your personal savior. We're gonna ask you to come this morning. The Lord wished to come back to us this morning, and you know that your life is not right. And if you want to have an opportunity, amen, to give your life to Christ, this is your opportunity. You 
might be here this morning, amen, and you say, you know, I've been, I've been coming over here from time to time, amen, and I've just been coming to check you guys out, but on today, I, I realized, amen, that I need a place that can hold me accountability, hold me accountable. I need a place where someone can watch over my soul. If you're looking for a church, amen, because you don't have a church home, the doors of the church is open unto you this morning. You might be here this morning and you say, you know what? I'm in a position where Lord, I'm tired. You're in a position where you say, Lord, I am tired. You know, sometimes we can be running and ain't nobody chasing us. Sometimes we can be running like we're on a treadmill. But you know, when you're on a treadmill, you can be moving, but yet not going anywhere. If you're tired of just sick and tired of being sick and tired, you just need us to pray for you this morning. We're going to ask you to come this morning. Because the God that we serve is able to do all things but fail. tired of being sick and tired. I'm at a place where I just want to let go. And just in case you think it costs you something to let go, it's 100% free. It don't cost you anything but effort.
God, amen. As we now prepare our hearts, amen, for communion at this time.
done been omitted. Thank you. 